Oh, I tell ya, fish aren't biting these days. Not that much. Been up here three days, haven't I? Not a single nibble. Fishermen, on the other hand, I must have caught 15 or 20 of them. Must be all this high gravity and such. Never know what you're gonna catch. Of course it's all catch and release anyways. Except them wallets. Them wallets be released from their pockets. Hey guys, this is Getsumar and welcome back to more... Tales of Vesperia. Last time, well, we finally met with Pharaoh after so long. And now we have to head to Ospio, but first to skid. I can't take it anymore. I'm seriously gonna starve. Can I eat a gel? No. <sighs> does, does the pooch look a little scary to anyone else? Oh, he's probably just hungry enough for his wild instincts to kick in. <sighs> the pooch isn't the only one about to go wild. I'm no good at diets, seriously. This isn't a diet, it's a fast. Why do we have to stop eating too? We can't have delicious smells just wafting by. We're just as hungry as you are. Ah, uh, what a tyrant. Damn females needing to look all pretty. Letting the men starve. Who do they think they are? Alright, well let's uh just get some mats right here. Oh yeah, there's a lot of them, and let's get right back up on to I will and head over to the little island over here for more. Yeah, this is something I recommend you do. You just go fly around and look for mats. Because you'll definitely need them, because, well, there's a lot of stuff you're gonna have to make. If not mistaken, there's new monsters on this little place, but who cares about them? Not me. Not me at all. Alright, well, let's head to Ospio. So we could find some crits in there, and hopefully. We'll spill the beans on where their hometown is. The birthplace of the Critia, Miorzo. Alright, it's just over here. <sighs> Again? This food's a staple, but I do wonder why we always have the same thing to eat. We have other recipes we could be making. Rita said she liked it so much she could eat it every day. Hey, the old man was whining about how he hates every other kind of food. Well, Yuri was going on and on about how we have to save money on food. Judy, didn't you say this would be a good way to compare our cooking? I thought Estelle was trying to perfect this dish. I want something else. Me too. Me three. I'm tired of this. Our other recipes are going to waste. All right, let's eat something different next time, okay? So I wasn't the only one who was tired of it after all. Alright, well the people have spoken. Um, I was actually waiting to change their recipes until I got that skit, because I, I remembered it and I was like, oh, that'll be funny to come across. So actually, let's do that. Cooking, Yuri. Actually, let's, uh... Hmm. Make a sandwich. Oh my god. It, it worked. Well, um... Uh... We don't need so bear and pudding, so let's uh, try something else. You're gonna want him to master everything. Actually, we'll want cake, and we'll get rid of pudding. Fried chicken and fries? Oh my god. Hmm. I don't know what to make. Let's. Let's. He hasn't mastered the sandwich? Oh lord, well, that's what he's gonna have to make then. Go, go, go back to sleep. I'll let you in and hopefully you'd be quiet while I record, but no, no. He comes in, then he wants out. He comes in, then he wants out. Well, he's stuck there now. So let's go to Aspio. It's been another long day. Let's save the manhunt for tomorrow. Uh, I second that. Well, I suppose we can all stay at my place. Wait. There's something I want to take care of first. You mean me? Carol? This is a guild thing. Best for us not to get involved. I've thought about it a lot. What we should do, like, as a guild. And I realized... We have to figure out a few things if we're gonna keep this guild going. Sounds like you've decided what we should do. Well, we said it before. The most important thing is obeying the guild's laws. Those who break the laws suffer strict punishment, even if they're friends or family. They say that's the source of a guild's pride. Yes.
Yes. So what I'm thinking is... We all have to receive punishment. What do you mean? I didn't know that Judith was fighting for our planet all on her own. But even though I didn't know, I still failed to help a fellow guild member. So I gotta accept my punishment. Yuri? Me? Maybe you were trying to follow your own path, but you still kept things hidden from us. There's no way that can be for the good of the guild. Well... So you gotta be punished too. Now he's stretching it. The laws are important. What if someone does the right thing, but still breaks the law? Should they be punished? To be honest, I just don't know yet. So that's why we should all just accept our punishment and start over from scratch. What do you think? I can't promise I won't have my secrets in the future. Well, if that's the way it is, if you can't trust us, then there's nothing you can do. That would be my fault. And what if I destroy a Blastia that our guild was planning on using again? That would be breaking the law that says I should act in the interest of the guild. But you'd also be acting for the sake of the world. Guilds aren't there just so people can obey their laws. I think we can let that slide. Um, doesn't that sort of make your laws meaningless? <laughs> I've never heard of a guild like this before. But you've got me interested, I'll give you that much. <laughs> <laughs> Carol, you're just full of surprises. I had thought plenty about myself and what I should be doing. But I might not have considered how my actions would affect you guys. This is a way of settling things I didn't even realize existed. I... I just wanted to keep traveling with all of you. I just wanted each of our own paths to be the same as Brave Asperia's. <laughs> Sounds alright with me. You heard the man, Judy. I guess that's where we stand. You really are some of the oddest people I've ever met. But... I suppose I can manage to put up with you. All right then, one more time. Brave Vesperia, fall out! They're just making it up as they go, aren't they? Is that all a guild is? <laughs> the Don ran his guild just a teensy bit differently. There's something beautiful about this way, though. So, what about the punishment? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Um... Looks like you guys are on Critian Researcher Detail. We'll be relaxing at my place. Hey, why do you get to decide? Excuse me? Did I hear a complaint? <laughs> no, ma'am. No. Uh-uh. Parted with a still read in Raven. <laughs> Alright, well, we got another skit, but, um... Yeah, step one of the new guild procedures. Yuri is not allowed to own a septic tank. Next thing you know, it'll be Skeleton City. Carol, were you thinking by yourself this whole time about what to do with Judy? Yeah, it was pretty much all I thought about after we left Nordopolica. That, and about what you did to Rago and Kumor. Really? It's nice to hear you thought about me that much, even when I wasn't around. Yeah. I wasn't sure at first, what was right, what was wrong. I think I have the Dawn to thank for setting me straight. Without the Dawn's last words, I never would have found answers to the questions I had. You gotta stand on your own two feet. Yeah, I was thinking about what that meant. And before I knew it, I wasn't thinking about what was right. I was thinking about what I want to do. And that helped you decide what to do with the Guild. Yeah, so here's to fresh starts. Yeah. To fresh starts. To fresh starts with our good le guild leader being a lunch lady. Yes. All right. Next time we want some cold cuts, it's on Carol. All right. Well, uh, we have to go find an Ospil researcher, but um, the reason why they gave you that special flag with Tyson and Ann boss battle is because you're actually going to want to use it. So you're gonna want to be a uh, Judith. You'll see why, because you know. Christians aren't gonna be like, oh hey, how's it going, human? Wanna know all our secrets? Oh sure, here you go. Actually, well, I think you said something differently first, so let's uh, be Yuri first. Hello. You're searching for Miorzo. That's the name of the city that they talk about in the Christian legends. That's all I know. Location? I don't know where it is. And even if I knew, I don't think it'd be any good to tell someone other than a Christian. That's pretty much why you want to use it. So let's be Judith. Now what do you got to say, bud? Good day. 
Good day, my sister. Judith. I'm Tort. You wouldn't happen to know anything about Miorzo, would you? I would like to go there. I need to know where Miorzo is located and how I can get there. Even if you reach the city, there won't be anything for you to see there, but what do you plan on doing there anyways? Oh, you know, going to see the heritage and enjoying the home, the birthplace of the Christian. It's not a Christian's interest in her own ancestral city reason enough to go. That is an acceptable reason, but I'm afraid I don't, I don't know anything about where it could be. Oh, my phone. Text message. I heard your name before, Turt. You help guide those Christians remaining on Earth up to the heavens. Will you not tell me because these humans are with me? I can easily dispose them. They're, they're just my pets. <laughs> our ancient law states that we cannot show anyone but our brothers and sisters the way to Miorzo. Shouldn't it be a matter of whether they can be trusted, rather whether they're Christian or not? At the very least, these humans can be trusted. Sister, I do not believe you. Get out of my sight. Why do you seek Miorzo? The world is headed towards some bad things, all thanks to Blastia. We want to know what happened in the past and how we can stop it, because we're finally sorry that we caused it. Not. We want to help everyone, not just the Critians. How's that? Hmm. Now nah, get out of here, buddy. I don't like that reason. I do not know if you'll find the answer to your questions, but I will show you the way. But there is one condition. You must leave the woman with me tonight. It drives a hard bargain, but looks like we're going to have to do it. To get to Miorzo, you must travel to Egathor Forest. Fucking text messages. The Egathor Forest on the continent of Hype. Piano? Ah, I knew how to pronounce that. God damn it. Isn't it? I've heard of it before. Hyponia. Something like that. Yes, the sacred land of the Critians is located there. So that's where the door to Miorzo is. I already knew that, but I guess I didn't. But those lands are currently being trampled under the feet of an unknown group of people. They have not only invaded our sacred land, but they also brought strange Blastia with them. I don't know what they're up to, but it can't be good. So if we go to Miorzo, we'll have to do something about them. Exactly. We need you to restore peace to our sacred land. Now hop to it, buddy. I'm not the only Christian. We all want to go home one, one day or another. What's happening? Once you have driven out the interlopers, ring this bell. The door to Miorzo will open for you. Thank you. May the road rise up to meet you, sister. And you as well. Let's go back to where everyone is waiting. Now that I told the person to stop sending me texts, I'm recording. And we got the guide belt to yours, though, so let's get out of here. Let's be Lunch Lady Carol. Ha ha ha. And we should also go see Rita. Wait, 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 her apartment's up here. Maybe we could find what's in that drawer, ha ha ha. They never tell you what's in there. Did you find out anything? We've got a lead in a place called Egathor Forest. I'm pretty sure it's on the west side of Hyponia. To the south of here. So Miorzo's in that forest. No, but the door is. A door? What do you mean? Is it like a door we open, take a staircase up, and bam, Miorzo? There's a door that leads to Miorzo. Be fastest just to go and check it out. First, let me rest. My feet are tired. I've been serving people all day. Perhaps we should get some rest before leaving. But I want to go now. We don't really have a choice. So, we reunited with everyone.